far. We've been at it for what? 20 minutes? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. There's a huge knot behind his ear and a bunch of true stuff, but and part of it is just the breed. Your brush is broke. Huh? Your brush is broke. It's broke. No, sorry. Um, and the brush is. If anyone has any suggestions for like super long haired dog maintenance, let me know because I know that this is a ton of upkeep. Um, but this was pretty, pretty bad. So, let me gather up this dog that we have in the bottom of our shower now. Yep. Good boy. Gave me some serious side eye. Hmm? He just gave me some serious side eye. He is not impressed. He thinks this is some BS. you find in really gross mats like really awful crusty dead skin and stuff that hasn't been able to get out break away kind of not to be super graphic but it smells so that's fun and he has so much of it for another hour plus into more grooming day two thank god he's patient and there's our bucket of hair this is saturday morning this is unacceptable Newfoundland behavior. This is Hagrid if you haven't met before. He's our newest puppy rescue. Oof. And Adri lets him sleep on the bed. No. I don't, but what do I, how do I get him off? He weighs more than me. Hagrid. Hagrid, you have to leave. Oh my goodness. And that's baby Charlie. Where is he? There he is. Little Muppet dog. <laughs> Goat season on a Sunday. I left him alone for five minutes and he freed the goat. <laughs> What you doing? Digs a hole under the gate so that he can come over here and sit and wait for Ben to get home from work. <laughs> Baxter! Why? Are you sad? We gotta go in. He'll be back. Come, Baxter. Come home. We have sister. Dan? And do I say your name? Oh. And Ben? You know Ben. And Shannon, who you're going to find out a lot about shortly. Huh? I'm doing my birthday party video. Yeah. Who are you talking to? That's what Ben does every time also. Are you recording? Are you filming? No, I'm talking to myself. Well, no, I said. Trying to do the math. I think it's 14 birthdays together. To, to right, Pam? You're going strong, buddy. I know. You, you brought her. You brought her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's <laughs> all and like. And then there's my birthday haul, which includes this. Lamp. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, because I remember when we first got him in Jefferson. And you're like, <laughs> so we're going to replace this old lamp, which you can't tell him this, but it has like flowers on these. It's very outdated. We're going to replace it with a really nice. Yeah. And then, what else did I get? I got <laughs> this helmet. Hip, you're so good. For horse riding. 
And I got an automatic gate opener. Cup, which is hilarious. And this candle holder. I got some really cute farm notebooks. And then the female stuff. I love it. Really yeah. cute so cow socks, a cow tin, a whole package of cat collars, <laughs> and a cat door. Which you also have to be And yeah, another job for Ben. <laughs> yep, really exciting. And these, which look antique and kind of haunted. Thanks for doing that. Uh, my mom just came down for her month-long visit that she makes every few months or something. Uh, and she brought so much stuff. She found all of these white barrels. There's so many more. I think she found like 20. That we can now put all the animal feed in so that this dude can't do what he's doing right now and break into them. <laughs> they have locking lids, so it's fantastic. We can also buy food. Uh, kind of in bulk if we take these on a trailer to a local feed store. So it's actually going to save us a ton of money. So I'm very excited about that. And then she found a farm that was basically selling everything due to them because they sold her a ton of farming stuff, um, used stuff that was much more affordable for us. And so we have like all kinds of chicken supplies, poultry supplies, uh, more of this fencing that is great for the pigs, um, as long as you don't mind doing constant maintenance. <laughs> and all this stuff was very exciting. It was like Christmas when she rolled up. So anyways, I'm now switching out all their food right now because that right there is exactly what happens. He just walks in anytime the doors open and I find all the feed bins to fill there. So, yep, yep. That's what he's doing. You know, I can see you. Yeah, give it a try. You can't open that feed bin. Your bad donkey. <laughs> it works. <laughs> and then it says on the other side of this, repair your shop. <laughs> oh, you want breakfast? Okay, come on, everyone. We've made a mess. Just like that, he's ready. He doesn't know where the journey will take us. He doesn't care that we haven't moved. He just knows he's peeing a good bowl. Oh, okay. Never mind. He just knows he's being a good boy and he's ready. He's ready to go. Thanks, son. Oh, God, what is that on my face now? No. Get out of here. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're not being a good boy. Hodor, no. Oh my gosh, there's so much nasty stuff on me. Please. I'm trying to tell myself that that was not feces. I'm like 99% sure that was poop. I smell poop all over my face. I'm in my shirt. Great. My hair is still wet from the shower that I literally just took. we get our hay barn built which is you know somewhere on the list um we just keep it all out here across the road from my house on some pallets and under some tarps that have to be uh but <laughs> i always throw a little to this chunk wait for it and most of the time i look over while i'm doing this and this is what I see. <laughs> He's so cute and naughty. I'm coming. Get ready. See if we can get him talking for you. I have to cut this bill. I'm secretly always a little bit afraid. There he is.
I knew it. <laughs> uh.